Une dernière modification qu'on a apportée au gala euh, cette année, en fait, euh, ça concerne les journalistes parce qu'à chaque année, les journalistes sont obligés de quitter avant la fin le gala à cause de l'heure de tomber, tout ça. Alors, ce soir, ce qu'on va faire, c'est qu'on va vous présenter les meilleurs moments de la dernière demi-heure du gala d'aujourd'hui, ouais. présentement, tout de suite. Dans la catégorie « Meilleure blague écrite sur un T-shirt », Longevity gene sounds too good to be true. And yet, scientists have actually known for years of one surefire way of doing that. Stay hungry. Eating a lot of food turns that off. Dieting, extreme dieting, turns it on. These rhesus monkeys are on a major diet. For nearly two decades now, they've been taking in a good 30% fewer calories knew that Robert Freeguard had never been a spa. Knew that he had a 10-year trail of victims who turned over tons of money to him. Knew that he was out there on the run somewhere with the American school psychologist Kim Adams. Gone now for three months as her investigation began. But Freeguard was so clever, he'd left no footprints. The trail was cold. And so their temperatures will drop to around 40 to 42 degrees. And that's in Burlington and Plattsburgh. Of course, it will be cooler in the Adirondacks. The winds will die down out of the north around. Jeune fille, vos réponses. Mmh. Un auteur assez prolifique, son roman le plus connu étant « Comment faire l'amour avec un nègre sans se fatiguer ». Le terme exact serait « Comment faire l'amour avec une personne de minorité visible mmh. ». Est-ce que c'est Dany Laferrière Ah, Mathieu répond Alexandre Jardin. Né en Haïti, euh, Alexandre Jardin. assignment america we have a very specific practical joke all you need is a tube of plastic wrap a door and an unsuspecting friend and you too could do something like this mom mom are you okay mike what what's wrong no. mom <laughs> when the Arctic Ocean is entirely free of ice for the first time in nearly a million years. These changes threaten to impact Arctic life in unpredictable and devastating ways. In Arctic Canada, Ian discovers how loss of sea ice is having especially grave implications for certain wildlife. There's nothing out here, look at that. Cook the oregano because if you toast it too much, it becomes like burnt weed. Designing a different system. Well, that would take a lot more than changing things one. Moi, je suis Kate Brewster. On était tous les deux au collège West Hills. Ça alors. Qu'est-ce qui t'est arrivé, John Au milieu de la huitième, t'as disparu. Et il y a eu cette chose qui est arrivée à tes parents. À... And now, I'm free. <laughs> I, I do not understand. I knew I was drawn to you for a reason. I must have had a subconscious need to break away from all this. Oh, 
So I am so uncool, I snapped you out of your hip trance. Exactly. Peggy. Is Mimi Clark inside? I'd really like to talk to her. Sorry, she's not here. Go through a cycle of feasting and fasting. In summer, without a platform of ice, they face uncertain times. However, if there's a mammal that can survive severe food problems in the Arctic, it is the polar bear. An opportunistic hunter, the polar bear opportunistic hunter, the polar bear also eats walrus and short-legged reindeer. No. I'm sorry. You uh, trail, you go back to one, you go back to one point. Bishop Ludden, what did you write down?